Yesterday, 3,000 more were baptized in a matter of hours. We have a, a new heresy to deal with. Heresy? Are you sure? The leader was crucified by the Romans. So now the Romans decide what is heresy. This morning, the Romans issued a formal complaint. They fear a rebellion if these teachings persist. So you Pharisees must get control of these people. We Pharisees? Why blame us, Roman? Who teaches that the Messiah is coming? Pharisees! And now they teach that the Messiah is risen from the dead. This Pharisee teaching, this fantasy of an afterlife. You restrain this sect of yours, or Rome will make us suffer. Our teaching is clear. At the end of time, we shall all rise again. But the Torah does not teach that. The Torah is the law as given by God to Moses on Sinai. You speak the teachings of Sadducees, but to Pharisees, the Torah was given by God to every man. It is up to each man to decide how to interpret these words for himself. You delude the people with a promise of resurrection, and this is what you get! A risen Messiah! No. Fellow Israelites, consider carefully what you propose to do to these men. If their beliefs are of human origin, they will fail. Remember Theodos. He had hundreds of followers, and yet they all disappeared when he died. Remember Judas, the Galilean? Many followers, but when he died, they all scattered. But if their teachings are of God... Of God? What are you a blasphemer to? But if their teachings are of God, you will not be able to overthrow them because you'll be fighting against God himself. I counsel caution. 